Hi everyone, this is Simon and in this video I'm going to show you how to override save method in a Django model. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe and click bell icon to receive notification when we upload more videos. Without wasting your time, let's get started. Here I have created a basic Django project called demo and uh, an application called parcel. I have also created super user to allow us to log in to Django admin where we will add a model and create objects for that model. So to show you how to override save method, we need to create a model class in our models.py file. So let's create a, a class called class parcel going to be models dot model one of the field is going to be name and this is going to take character field I'm going to give it max length of let's say 200 or reduce it to 100 characters the second field which I'm going to use to override the save method. Let me say parcel, parcel code. So for example, a parcel might have a name and uh, a unique code. So for those who are going to stick around, I'm going to show you how to generate a random unique code that we are going to be filling into this field parcel code when we override save method. So let's finish up this field. It's going to be models dot character field. And we can give it maximum length of, uh, let's say maybe 50 characters. Let's set it to unique is equals to true. We want this field to be unique because we are not going to uh, input this field when we are entering the data or creating the object we are going to set it to null is equals to true and also blank is equals to true the next thing to do is to create a string representation of our class parcel i'm going to create a method string Uh, it takes an argument self and it returns let's return self dot name so that in the admin we are able to see our object by the name yes for those who are with me up to this moment let's create a unique random string so I'm going to create a method here def generate generate parcel code let's just call it that way so with this I'm going to use UID4 to generate the unique parcel code so we need that UID, so I'm going to import import UID, and then we are going to say code is equals to string, then UID dot UID four UID four, then we need the first 10 characters so we're going to take 10 sorry i'm, I'm inputting 8 so we're going to take 10 then we are going to to replace the hyphen in the uid code that we are going to get with the blank spaces so that the characters are they fit together without being separated by hyphen so I'm going to say replace 
iPhone with just space and then we are going to convert our string to lowercase good I think that code is going to generate our string so what we need to do is just return the code yes finally we are going to write a method to override the save method for our parcel class so I'm going to do def save it takes in three arguments which is self args sorry args and quags and then now uh, we're going to say save It's going to take in two arguments too. We're going to take in the the class which is parcel and self. Then we are going to say dot save takes in args and quags. Sorry, this is supposed to be super not save super. So what we are going to do here when we create the object in the admin we are going to input the name and save. So before we save we, are, we need our parcel to have a unique parcel code. So to do that we need to override the save method in order to be able to fill that field with the code in, generated from our method up here. So I'm going to do self dot parcel code is equals to then we are going to call our our method our generate parcel code method which is going to generate a unique code for us so let's test out this i think everything should be working and this method is what we are using to override the save method of our parcel model so for for us to be able to see the the model here we need to add it to admin.py file so we need to import the parcel class here so i'm going to do from dot models import parcel then to register our model we need to to do admin dot site dot register then we just enter the our model class this final thing we need to do we have created the model but we have not made migration to the database so our database does not have this does not have a table for our model here so what we need to do we need to do python manage.py make migrations you can see we have created a model parcel that's a migration created so we need to migrate for it to be committed to the database so now we need to do python manage.py migrate okay if we go to our model sorry if we go to our admin and refresh sorry our server has just stopped so we need to restart our server so i'm going to stop it and restart by python python manage.py run server so let us refresh our admin page i think you can see that we have our model here which is parcel and from here i think we can create an object so let's add a parcel uh, let's call it uh, phone our parcel is going to be phone 
So you'll be able to see that when I click save and continue, we should be able to get a unique code that is representing our phone parcel. So if I click, if I click save and continue editing, you should be able to see a unique code. If I click and save again, it should generate a new unique code. You can see. So I can save and create another object. Our second parcel code should not be similar to the first parcel code. So for that, let me try to copy this somewhere. Let me open a, a new tab and paste the code here. Let's create a new object or parcel. So let's call it uh, printer. If I save and continue, let me let me paste let me paste the code here, some spacing. So you can see that the codes are different, meaning that every object will have a unique code. So guys, this is how you override a save method in a Django model. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please write it down. I'll be able to answer you. Any suggestion to any video that I can produce next or record will be appreciated. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.